hurricane season. Kat Campbell's in the WRL Severe Weather Center with NC State's forecast released today, Kat. It was just released this afternoon, and you may be wondering, well, why are we talking hurricane season? It's just under a month and a half away. It'll be here before we know it. And similar to the earlier Colorado State forecast that was released, NC State's Meteorology School under Dr. Shea releasing an above normal hurricane season forecast. 15 to 20 named storms, the average is 14. 10 to 12 hurricanes, the average is seven and three to four major hurricanes is their forecast. Last year, NC State did a great job with their forecast of hurricanes and major hurricanes. They actually under forecast the amount of named storms that formed for last season. Keep in mind, this is for the entire Atlantic Basin. That is not a number of storms expected to impact the US or North Carolina. So let's talk about why we're likely to have an above normal hurricane season. You look at the main development region, which I've highlighted right here, the ocean temperatures, they are warm. This region is ready to go for development above normal sea surface temperatures already in place there. And now let's go almost all the way across the globe to the equatorial Pacific. We're likely to see a blob of some blue showing up here by the summer months and what that means. Cooler than normal ocean temperatures and a La Nina. What this does, it impacts global wind patterns and makes it so there's not very much wind shear in the Atlantic and it makes it easier for tropical systems to form. Those warm ocean temperatures then make it easier for them to strengthen. So 